In cPanel, you can set up a subdomain for your website if you have content that uh, is separate but somewhat related to your domain. Or otherwise, maybe you're in college and you have, a, you have your domain, but you have maybe uh, a college class that needs a particular website or content created, but you don't want to create a, pay for a new domain or add it to your existing website. So there's a lot of benefits to creating a subdomain. And if with justhost.com is what I'm going to use to show this, but cPanel will generally do this. Depending on your hosting service, they might have uh, some different options or way to set up a subdomain, but it's pretty much the same idea. So from just us, if we scroll down to where we can see our domains that we have, we can either register a new one, transfer our domain from uh, another provider, or create a subdomain. And that's exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to click here. And this is super easy because here we're going to create a subdomain. So let's just say school dot boiseportraits.com is what I want to create and it's just going to go into the same uh, public underscore HTML file uh, folder on our website so that people can see it and what it's going to do is in here is it's going to create another folder called school based on boiseportraits.com so I'm going to create and see how it filled in school right there for us it's going to that's another folder for us and school.boiseportraits.com has been created. So we can go back and it's listed here, right there. All right, and if we would like it to redirect somewhere, that's totally fine. Uh, if we have a subdomain that we'd like to get rid of, we can hit remove and delete subdomain, just like that. So it's really simple. So now if we were to actually go to that, I should get a notification from Just Host saying that the site is under construction or something like that. So I hope this helps in creating a subdomain for your website and adding content to it. Uh, to connect to FTP, uh, it's simply the same way. You would, uh, for your root directory, you would say uh, public underscore HTML forward slash and the name of your subdomain, the folder. So in our case, it would be forward slash school and it would load us right into that. Okay, I hope this helps you uh, create a subdomain and moving forward with, with your projects.